Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here for Beautiful Beauty. Going to be doing a product review. Going to be talking about skincare today. Okay guys, so let's back the bus up here. Um, we're going to talk about the Olay products and it's been a very hot minute since I've actually used the Olay products. I've talked a lot out here on my channel about that. This is something that I used or used to use rather just basically a few years ago. It's been at least about three or four years since I've used the Oil of Olay products. And um, I say Oil of Olay out of habit. And a lot of people still call it Oil of Olay. But technically the company is called Oil of Olay. Um, it goes way back. I think it goes back probably to the 1950s or so, I think. I'm pretty darn sure. Um, actually, it might be the 40s. But anyhow, it's been around forever. This is something I used about three or four years ago. There was a reason I stopped using it. It irritated my skin. It caused me uh, to break out. It caused me skin irritation. It caused me redness. It did not agree with my skin. It caused me a, a tingly burning sensation. And anyhow, I had hopes that maybe the product had been improved upon, maybe reformulated, uh, you know, ingredients rearranged, new formulation, new something. So I went back and I thought, yeah, I'm going to go back and start trying some products that I used to use. So it's been about three or four years. Good reason I stopped using it. I had the same reaction to this. And I had been so hopeful because I had wanted it to work. Um, you know, I wanted to really find something that's economically affordable something I could just use regularly, I can use daily, something to maybe replace some of the products that I've been using that are so pricey that cost a lot, you know, I mean, honestly, money is not an issue for me, especially on hair care and skin care. But you know, I, you know, you know what I mean, I, I like to spend money on other things, so to speak. Okay, so this one, let me tell you the exact name, comes in this traditional looking pink box. This is the Olay. 24-hour hydration Olay moisturizing lotion. This is the sensitive skin formula. This comes in a six fluid ounce bottle like this. And I believe I um, back in the day, I believe like in the 40s and 50s, this stuff used to come and it used to be more pink. If you look at like, like vintage photos and things like that or vintage television commercials, it was a more of pink in color and it actually came in a glass bottle and had the black looking... Um, black looking lid with the pretty lady, you know, like touching her face or splashing her face imprinted on there. Uh, anyhow, yeah, just did not work for me. I toughed this out. I used it for two weeks. I do have dry sensitive skin. I honestly found it did very little hydrating, very little in the hydration department. Not at all emollient enough for me, not hydrating enough, definitely not moisturizing enough for my skin, but uh, not to mention, I got skin irritation, I got redness, I got tightness. It totally irritated my skin, and as well as my neck, my decollete, and my decolletage. And I was actually, after a two-week period, totally wrecking my skin with this. And I was totally expecting my skin to break out. I did not get breakout, but I was expecting it. I was expecting a lot of breakout down on my neck, like my decollete, and my decolletage, neck area, jawline, and all that, because... A few years ago when I did use this product, that was the outcome of it. I got a lot of breakout, breakouts down under my jawline and down my, just totally down my neck to my collarbone area. So, um, two weeks, I pulled off the job. <laughs> Stop using this, okay? Um, you know, I will say this. If this is your favorite moisturizer for your face and it works for you, I am glad because you're able to buy a product that is affordably cheap that, you know, you can get vir virtually anywhere. I bought this online at Target. You can basically get it at Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, Long's Drugs, Rite Aid, uh, Rexall Drugs, wherever. You know what I mean? You can really find this product anywhere. And I'm glad it works for you. This is just my personal experience with the product. It does not work for me, you guys. Too much skin irritation. I'm just going to show you real quick the texture of it. I did like the way um, it applied. I did like the texture of it initially. You know, when I first put it on my face, I thought, okay, this feels okay. This looks okay. Can you guys see? It absorbed into the skin fairly well. And then about 10 or 15 minutes into having this on my face, I did get a negative reaction. The smell of it, I'm going to comment on the smell of it because I got to talk about smells. The smell is nice because it's really virtually unfragranced. I don't smell a scent coming from this product totally love the fact that it was unfragranced, unscented. 
and I think it is unfragrance unscented because it is a sensitive skin formula. And um, if you get the sensitive one, it's not going to have a fragrance. They had the other formula. I can't even remember what it's called, but anyhow, I've used it before as well. It's a no-go for my skin. No, 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 no. Totally not happening. So this is not going to be continuing on to be part of my skincare personally. Okay, guys, before I make it 20, 30 minutes uh, of honesty and the truth. And uh, yeah, okay. I love you guys. Take care now. Be sure to give me a big, huge thumbs up. Be sure to give me a big, huge like. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Bye, beauties.